Welcome to the 8th NVU Composer tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at formatting the My Choice page uh, with a nested table so it's ready for your content. Uh, we're going to go over uh, splitting and merging cells uh, in your nested table and then show you how to uh, format that. The first thing you want to do is open into NVU and then uh, in your site manager you should have linked your COM201 site and you can just select the plus sign or the minus sign here. We're then going to go down and we're going to open up the choice.html page just by double clicking on it. And also notice that my symbols here are formatted for my default web browser which is Google Chrome. Uh, they could be an E there for Internet Explorer or the little wrapped uh, fox for Firefox uh, or even the little compass for um, Apple Safari. Um, either or, it doesn't matter which way it is as long as you have your, your page here .html. Okay, on our uh, choice.html we need to uh, put in our page and in our page we need to format this cell again. Uh, to do that if you remember from last time we are going to right click selecting table cell properties under cells here we're going to go over and check the content alignment boxes for vertical and horizontal and switch those to top and center. And then we're going to select OK. So now our cursor should be blinking right up here you just have to click there for it to do so. Uh, now we're ready to insert our nested table. We can do that just by coming up to Table and Insert and select Table. Uh, from here we're going to put in our table. It's going to be a simple one, a two row table. So we're just going to highlight this one, one column and click OK. And you'll notice that our table is here. And once we have that table we're going to double click inside that first cell. And it's going to bring up the table properties. And we'll make sure you switch from cells here to Table. Once you switch that, you want to change the width of this to 600 pixels. And a border again is going to be zero. Spacing is going to be zero. And we're maintaining our consistency throughout and keeping the, the padding at two. Uh, our table alignment again, we're going to set to center. So it's in the center of the cell. And we're going to select OK. Uh, now we're able to put in our title here. And then this is going to be the main content box here for your um, uh, My Choice page. Uh, for this part, we want to put in the title, and we're going to call this uh, the COM201 My Choice page. And we're going to select that and format this. Again, we're going to use the same to maintain consistency up here on the formatting toolbar. We're going to select Heading 1, and that will format that properly for us. And then we're going to come down here, and this is going to be a little different. Each person is going to be able to come up with their own materials here. And if you reference inside your uh, Moodle page, you can find more detailed description of what you're going to be doing here. Um, the general gist is you're going to be producing content of your own choice. And the idea is that it's going to showcase your skills that you've learned in this course. Uh, whatever you choose to make must be created only for this page, meaning it has to be created from scratch. It can't be anything that you used. Uh, in a, to, to satisfy another part of this course. It has to be a completely new project. It can be a video, it can be a graphic, it can be a uh, paper, or any type of thing that you, you want to do that, that is directly related to this course. Um, the directions are going to be intentionally vague so that, that it doesn't stifle your creativity here. Um, uh, adequate thought, effort, and planning must be evident to your instructor to satisfy this part of the assignment. Uh, what I'd like to show you for this part, or this page, is just how to change this nested table to suit your needs. Uh, a couple of different, different problems is when to insert or how to split different cells so you can have the content that you need. Uh, something that you can see here is we can, we can make this a little bit larger, um, how we format this page and kind of just spread it out if we wanted to that way. I'm going to undo that part and just kind of show you the different parts of the um, inserting cells. If you right click on this, you can see here that we have table insert, table select, uh, and also even table delete depending on if we need to delete our cells. So you can come over here and if we need to do a uh, row below, a column before, a cell before, any of these things we can add in. If I add in a row below, I can put that in as well and it will put that row below there for me. And you can kind of uh, put in as many rows or columns as you need to format this with your content. Again, displaying however you want to display it, this, this page is completely up to you. Uh, I hope that provides you a, a better idea of what you need to do uh, before you 
uh, finish this tutorial, make sure you save, and this disk icon will disappear just by hitting Control S or going up to File and selecting Save here. And you can see Save is great because there's nothing to save. I've already saved it. Uh, you may now move on to the next tutorial.